ಶ್ರೀಶೈಲೇಶದಯಾಪಾತ್ರಂ ಧೀಭಕ್ತಿಯಾದಿ ಗುಣಾರಣವಂ ಯತೀಂದ್ರ ಪ್ರವಣಂ ವಂದೇ ರಮ್ಯ ಜಾತರಂ ಮುನಿಂ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀನಾಥ ಸಂಭಾಂ ನಾಥಯಾಮುನ ಮಧ್ಯಮ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರಾ ಯೋ ನಿತ್ಯಂ ಅಚ್ಯುತ ಪದಾಂಬುಜಯುಗ್ಮರುಗ್ಮ ವ್ಯಾಮೋಹತಸ್ತಿತರಾಣಿ ತೃಣಾಯಮೇನೆ ಅಸ್ಮದ್ಗುರೋರ್ ಭಗವತೋಸ್ಯ ದೈಕ ಸಿಂಧೋ ರಾಮಾನುಜ ಚರಣೌ ಶರಣ ಪ್ರಪದ್ಯೇ ಲೋಕಾಚಾರ್ಯಾ ಗುರವೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣಪಾದ ಸೂನವೇ ಸಂಸಾರ ಭೋಗಿ ಸಂದಷ್ಟ ಜೀವ ಜೀವಾತವೇ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರೀಶೈಲೇಶಾತ್ರಿಭಕ್ತಿಗುಣಾರ್ಣವಂ ಯತೀಂದ್ರ ಪ್ರವಣಂ ವಂದೇ ರಮ್ಯಜಾತರ ಮುನಿ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀನಾಥ ಸಂಭಾಂ ನಾಥಯ ಪುನಮಧ್ಯಮ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರಾಂ ಯೋ ನಿತ್ಯಮಚ್ಯುತ ಪದಾಂಬುಜಯುಗ್ಮರುಗ್ಮ ವ್ಯಾಮೋಹತಸ್ತಿತರಾಣಿ ತೃಣಾಯಮೇನೆ ತಸ್ಮದ್ಗುರೋರ್ ಭಗವತೋಸ್ಯದಯೈಕಸಿಂಧೋ ರಾಮಾನುಜ ಚರಣೌ ಶರಣ ಪ್ರಪದ್ಯೇ ಲೋಕಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಗುರವೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣಪಾದ ಸೂನವೇ ಸಂಸಾರ ಭೋಗಿ ಸಂದಷ್ಟ ಜೀವ ಜೀವಾತವೇ ನಮಃ ಅಪಗತ ಮದಮಾನೈರಂತಿಮೋಪಾಯ ನಿಷ್ಠೈ ಅಧಿಗತ ಪರಮಾರ್ಥೈರರ್ಥ ಕಾಮಾನಪೇಕ್ಷೈ ನಿಖಿರಜನ ಸುಹೃದ್ಭಿರ್ ನಿರ್ಜಿತ ಕ್ರೋಧ ಲೋಭೈ ವರವರ ಮುನಿಭೃತ್ಯೈರಸ್ತು ಮೇ ನಿತ್ಯ ಯೋಗ ಸೊ ಅಂಟಿಲ್ ನೌ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟೆಡ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಫೋರ್ಟೀನ್ ಸೂತ್ರಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ಚೂರ್ಣಿಕಾಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಮುಕ್ಷಿಪಡಿ ಆಫ್ ಪಿಳೆ ಲೋಕಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಅಂಟಿಲ್ ನೌ ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ದಿ ಯುನೀಕ್ನೆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಮಂತ್ರಾಸ್ ಡೀಲಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ನಾರಾಯಣ ದಿ ತ್ರೀ ಮಂತ್ರಾಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಅಷ್ಟಾಕ್ಷರ ಮಹಾಮಂತ್ರ ದಿ ದ್ವಾದಶಾಕ್ಷರ ಮಹಾಮಂತ್ರ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಷಡಕ್ಷರಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದಟ್ ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ದಿ ಫರ್ದರ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ನೆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಅಷ್ಟಾಕ್ಷರ ಮಹಾಮಂತ್ರ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಎನ್ಷನ್ ಹೌ this ashtakshara mahamantra to put it in a very modern terminology it has been endorsed by the <coughs> vedas the sages the aryas and the acharyas because in the previous sutra which we <coughs> studied in the earlier class we saw how ittai vedangalam rishihalam ಆಳ್ವಾರ್ಹಣಂ ಆಚಾರ್ಯರ್ಹಣಂ ವಿರಂಬಿನಾರ್ಹ ಸೊ ಅನ್ಲೆಸ್ ಎ ಮಂತ್ರ ಆರ್ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ದಿ ಪ್ರೀಮಿಯರ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಪ್ಯಾಂಥಿಯನ್ ಆರ್ ದಟ್ ಸೊಸೈಟಿ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಅಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟಬಲ್ ಟು ಪೀಪಲ್ so in in a work called nyay kusmandili of udayana acharya of course it has got nothing to do with this work he says a work will become acceptable to people when there is mahajana parigraha he uses a word called mahajana parigraha so that is why even in modern times when a product he is endorsed by a celebrity people will go after it they will try to purchase it it might be something as simple as a shaving cream or a detergent soap or something like that so when <clears throat> a celebrity he might be a soccer player or he might be a film actor or actress or whoever it is when they endorse people will go after it so similarly we are now dealing with the spiritual field so who are the premier most persons in the spiritual field the aryas and acharyas and the rishis so if they have endorsed it then all of us will automatically automatically accept it 
So, Pimenokacharya says, the Sashtakshara Mahamantra is great because not only the Vedas, but the Vishis who authored the Itihasas and Puranas and also the Alvars and Acharyas, all of these have endorsed the Ashtakshara Mahamantra. So, endorsed is a modern terminology. So, it has to be taken in the right spirit. <laughs> Having said that, then Pudladoka Acharya further goes on to give us the greatness of the Tirumantram in another dimension. For that, he starts a new vista wherein he says, Vacha Prabhavam Polan Vachaka Prabhavam. Here he uses two, two technical terms, Vachya and Vachaka. Both of these are Sanskrit terms which are extensively used in Nyaya Shastra and Vedanta Shastra, etc. So suppose I say a pen. The word pen denotes an entity like this. So this is the pen, the object, namely the pen, is Vachya. And the word pen having three alphabets, namely P-E-N, is the Vachaka. So this is the difference between Vachya and Vachaka. Vachya is the object that is denoted, whereas Vachaka is in the form of a word which denotes an object. So sir, there is a unique one-to-one -one relationship between the Vachya and Vachaka. We deal extensively with, this, with these two terms in Nyaya Shastra and actually explore the science between the relationship between Vachaka and Vachya. That is not too much uh, pertinent to the current context. But there are two things. One is, what we have to understand here is, when I mention the word pen, or like any, for example, in Sanskrit, immediately we get the image of such an entity in our mind. And when we see this, such an entity, immediately we are reminded of the word that denotes it. So the denoter and denoted, that is Vacha and Vachaka, have a unique relationship. It can be called in modern terminology, mathematical terminology, we can call it as one-to-one -one relationship. Of course, whether one-to-many is available, many-to-one is acceptable, etc. That is a totally different, very vast subject. We will not go into that now because that is not pertinent to this context. So Vachya is the object that is denoted and Vachaka is the word that denotes the object. So here when we say Narayana, the word Narayana, which consists of actually eight alphabets or eight varnas. So we call it as, in Sanskrit, when we say what is the, how, when we actually define the word Narayana or define the sound which is in the form of a word, Narayana, we actually tell it like this, Nakarotra, Akarotra, Repotra, Akarotra, Nakarotra, Akarotra, Nakarotra, Akara. Or Akarotra, Anupurvi, Vishishta Shabda. The word which has Nakara that is succeeded by Akara, then Repa, Rakara, then succeeded by Akara, then Yakara that is succeeded by Akara, and Nakara that is succeeded by Akara. So this is known as Varnakrama in Vedas. So Narayana, Na, A, so Nakara is succeeded by Akara. Akara is preceded by Nakara, both ways. So in the, from right to left also, you have to mention and left to right also. In the sense, Akara is preceded by Nakara, Nakara is preceded by Akara, which is preceded by Akara. So when you mention it from both, both sides, the word 
actually is well entrenched in the mind of the listener. So there cannot be any interpolation in the word or in the uh, in the frame of the word, if I can put it that way. So this is Vachaka. And what there is the denoter of what? Of the Supreme Lord Narayana or the Lord Himself, who is the Vacha. So there are two. One is the Vachaka, that is the word which is in the form of a sound called Narayana. And the entity called Narayana or the Supreme Lord Himself. These two are different from each other. Just as the word pen is different from the object pen, object that is, that is that looks like this. So vacha prabhavam ponan vachaka prabhavam. So here, who is vacha? The supreme Lord Narayana is vacha, and the word or the sound that is in the form of the word Narayana is the vachaka, the denoter. These are two different entities which are very closely associated with each other. But these two have independent roles to play. That is what Milanokacharya wants to say here. So the Lord Narayana, the entity Narayana it's himself or the Supreme Lord himself. His role is quite different from the word Narayana, which is denoting the Lord Narayana. So you have to very clearly understand the subtle difference between the denoted and the denoter, that is Vachya and Vachaka. So he says, Kini Vachyantan Niram Midr Kundana Vaidhavatta Yarunichai Hidar Vacha prabhavam polan, vachaka prabhavam yendri, adavade, dirke vachana irundula, ishwara rude perime polan, the dvachakamana idin perime in repadi. So, what he says he is trying to say is, we of course respect Lord Narayana very much because he is the creator, sustainer, and also the cause of the dissolution of this universe. He is actually the indweller of everything, including our own self. And his greatness need not be told separately, because all along we have been noticing it. But the word Narayana, which denotes the Lord Narayana, is greater than the Lord Narayana himself. <laughs> that is what he is trying to tell you. Because Avan Durastanam is a kitin in Rudavum, kitin in Rudu, in Rudavum. So, how is it that, how is it that the word that denotes the entity is more powerful? So, I will give an example. Suppose today in India, today, I am suppose um, assuming that I belong to Gujarat and assuming that some people feel I am very close to the Prime Minister of India today. So suppose I walk into an office in Gujarat and say, so Prime Minister has sent me. Will my job get done easily or not? Definitely it will be get, it will get done easily because oh he is very close to the Prime Minister because he has told that Prime Minister has sent him. So the name of the Prime Minister itself will get so many things done. Or many a times when we approach a, an officer or a industrialist or somebody to get some work done. If we mention uh, the name of a person who is very close to me, 
then immediately that person will say okay i will do your job i will help you so the name of the person that is why many times when people try to impress by giving names i know the prime minister i know the chief minister or somebody or in india america it might be i know the governor i know the president or uh, donald trump or somebody people also say he is trying to drop names he is an expert in draw or dropping names so if i say uh, last week when i was with the prime minister uh, we were discussing this suppose i mentioned to somebody then there are two possibilities one thing is they might get mighty impressed that i am very close to the prime minister or they might feel i am dropping names just to get the work done whatever it is but the name has so much of value so that is why he says here avan durasthana nalum idu kitti nindru unavu even if the lord is physically very far away from us the name narayana is very close to us the name narayana is very proximate it is in great proximity to us and therefore the job will get done so ultimately we want the job to be accomplished so we are not worried how it how it how it gets accomplished so as far as the moksha liberation is concerned the end justifies the means you are not worried how whether this happened whether that happened whether it happened like this whether it happened like that ultimately what you want to be liberated so whether it comes from the name or whether it comes from the person himself if the name itself can accomplish your uh, job then why why do you need to go to lord narayana to get your job done so it's like even when you have to accomplish your job it's a good uh, good thing so like we have in the story of trimangiyal so he i think you all know just within two two or three sentences i'll mention so since he fell in love with a beautiful girl called kumudavel who said who imposed the condition that if she were to marry him he has to feed a thousand shri vaishnavas every day so what did he do he used to rob people but there is a code of conduct for robbers also there used to be earlier because in india we have a community called kallar community kallar community is a community of actually that should we should not use the word thieves because it's a derogatory term you can say waylayers or somebody something like that where they would actually study a person who has who is earning money through unfair means and stealing from them and there also there is code of conduct because they are not supposed to kill anybody they are not supposed to hurt anybody they can do only burgling actually so that is what tirumangi adwar used to do because the yes my gobin in this <laughs> so robin hood is a modern version but actually he did not have any spiritual inclinations whereas tirumangi adwar had spiritual inclinations purely for this way as a cop but ultimately what happened he became he came to be associated with the lord, the lord directly he had direct connection with the lord and he got liberated after doing so much for the cause of shri vaishnava he he was the one who built the thousand pillar pillar mantap in uh, shri rangam it stands it's a standing example of his contribution to the cause of shri vaishnava so it says avan durasthana nalam ूरस्थना 
ആസന്നമായി നിന്ന് തന്നെ വചിത്തവർ വചിത്തവർ അപേക്ഷിത അപേക്ഷിതങ്ങളെ സാധിത്ത് കൊടുക്കുമെൻ്റെ ആസ് ഓഫ് നൗ വി ഡോണ്ട് റിയലൈസ് വെയർ ലാഡ് നാരായണ so we understand from the shrutis or the vedic passages etc that lord narayana is within us within every object that antarasya sarvasya kudu sarvasya asya bahi is within everything without everything etc 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 but as of now we have not actually realized this we just have a cursory knowledge of this being so but on the other hand this mantra which is having the narayana nama as the main component is very close to us because we can chant it properly and it is is it is in such proximity to us that it can achieve anything that we want it want to be achieved that we want to achieve just by concentrating and repeated chanting of this mantra which is having the narayana nama as its main component so <clears throat> he gives a very beautiful example draupadi ki aapattire pude vishurandade tirunama mire ippadi vaachyam doorasthana irukka vaachaka mudavina idamundo venna arudichai hira so the question is of course you have mentioned that though the supreme lord narayana is far away from us or is we don't understand his proximity or being away the word narayana itself can help us is there any example of this happening so pilla loka acharya says draupadi ki aapattire pude vishurandade tirunama mire so when draupadi actually expressed her charanagati or prapatti just by calling the name govinda i am sure you are familiar with the <coughs> verse govinde ti yada krindati krishna maam duravasinam rinam pravrtham iva me hridayam napasarpadi i think it comes in shrimad bhagavatam so govindeti yada akrandati when she actually wail saying govinda 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 protect me she actually called me when i was very 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 far away in dwarka all this happened in hastinapura in nearly 400 or 500 kilometers away and lord krishna says rinam pravrtham iva me hridayam napasarpati so he immediately protected her by giving her providing her with the necessary uh, clothing even then he says probably for the devotion and dedication with which she called me as govinda whatever i do i will not be able to actually repay the debt of her of her devotion towards me so in this context what is being mentioned is avan doorasthanaanam idu kittinin doodam even though physically the lord uh, lord krishna was far 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 away the name just the name govinda actually triggered the response that was required from lord krishna because the go name govinda was in so pro- was in much proximity to her it was on her lips only so draupadi ki aapattile pudaveshwarandane tirunama mira when draupadi was in great distress her protection was done by granting her an unlimited amount of clothing just by the name govinda so krishna did not physically come here 
the name Govinda that denoted that Krishna itself accomplished what needed to be accomplished. That is explained very well here by Anavana Mahavani. He says, Adavade Mahasadasine Dushasanan Vastra Bharanam Pannaira Podu Mahatya Padisam Prapte Smartavyo Bhagavan Harihi Indra Munde Sri Vasishta Maharishi Shuldi Vaitatainaiti Shanka Chakra Gadapani Dvaraka Dinayachuta Govinda Pundari Kaksha Akshamam Sharanagatam Indri Sharanam Bhunda Draupadiki Avapatile, of course, Swami Manavada Mamani himself has quoted Govinde Tiyadakrandate Krishna Mam Duravasinam Yangirapati Vachyanana Krishna Durasthana Irikachaide Yum Vastratai Vardhipit Kurutade Avavatarak Avavataratak Vachakamana Govinda Nangira Purunama Vire Yangai Narayana Shabdartha Kide Shabdartha Til Ekadeja Tikku Vachakamana Durukurunamam Chayda Padikandal Prabhavam Kim Punarnyaya Siddha Mire Yandra Karipti Very beautifully Manavad Mamani explains. So Govinde Tiyadakrandata, this actually comes in the Mahabharata in the Udyoga Parva. And also the Sabha Parva, which mentions Draupadi Jnatam Maya Vasishthena Pura Geetam Mahatmana Mahatya Parisam Prapte Smartavyo Bhagavan. So whenever there is a great distress, at that time one has to remember the Lord Hari or Vishnu. But that doesn't mean that otherwise one should not remember. That is why there is a, an, an anecdote which is actually mentioned in the discourses. So once there was a uh, There was a businessman, so kindly don't mistake me, because it is narrated as in Telugu. So that businessman, probably he was a Vaishya, belonging to the Vaishya community. So <clears throat> he had been instructed by his Acharya that when you are about to pass away, or when you know that death is, your death is imminent, you please chant the Narayana Nama. You chant Narayana, 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 incessantly. And this um, businessman was very devout. So he had actually wanted to chant the Narayana Nama when his death was imminent, but he did not trust himself to remember the name. So he actually had told his relatives that when my death is imminent, you please remind me to chant the Narayana. Chant the name Narayana, 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 incessant. But the relatives thought that so many a times this happens. So the relatives thought that if a person tells Narayana, then he will immediately pass away. Many a times we see people misunderstanding statements. And we also have a very famous, uh, popular game called Chinese Whisper. I don't know whether you have heard it or not. We used to play when we were young. So about eight to 10 people, children, or whoever it is, even if it is elderly people, the game is played, the first person, he will whisper something into the second person's ear. Then the second person has to whisper the same thing to the, in the ear of the third person. So that is how it has to go back. And then if there are 10 people in the circle, the 10th people, 10th person has to actually 
tell it aloud. So by the time the same words pass through the ears and mouths of 10 person, the message will be totally distorted. We can see it and we have played it several times in my very end. So generally what happens is to see how much it is distorted, to realize how much it is distorted. The first person is actually made to write what he has mentioned and he has to conceal it. Then what happens <laughs> when the 10th person mentions the message aloud and compares this, it can be seen that it is totally disturbed. So we, we in day-to-day -day activities also when with our families or with the members of our family, etc., we have the same problem. So uh, there are minor quarrels, uh, etc. Because when I say I already told you that person will say, no, you have you have mentioned it in that manner. Then uh, one person will say, no, no, I did not mean it to be like that. You have misunderstood me. Then the other person will say, no, no, you have misunderstood me because you have not gathered this spirit of what I said. How can it be? So like this daily, there will be quarrels in many homes which I have seen. Of course, in our house also it happens. <laughs> so many a times what happens, the message itself is totally understood in a different manner. So the children and relatives who are around that person who was about to pass away, they thought that if the word Narayana is mentioned, they will pass away. So it seems they said, Amata Chapani, tell that word, tell that word, tell that word. But ultimately it seems that he could not remember the word Narayana. That is how the story goes. But it is not so. Mahatyapadi samprap, that doesn't mean. So here it is mentioned that Jnatam Maya Vasishthena Puragitam Mahatpana Mahatyapadi Samprap Te Smartavyo When there is a huge or very deep distress, at that time one has to remember Lord Hari. But that doesn't mean that one should not remember Lord Hari when he is in a happy mood or when he is happy overall. The converse is not true. That is why Madhvacharya says very beautifully, he says, Santatam chintaye anantam antakale visheshata. I always worship Lord Hari. But when my end is imminent, I will do so more than earlier. Which seems to be very, which, which seems to be a very nice statement. <clears throat> so, that is why even there is a very beautiful uh, uh, saying in Mahabharata, once again. Where he says, uh, where Kunti, at the end of the Mahabharata war, when Krishna is about to take leave, she says, Vipadas Santu Nashashwati. We want distresses to occur again and again to us because since you are there to protect us from all the distresses, and actually, you will come to our protection. Physically also you will be present with us when there is distress. So I feel that distress should happen again and again and again to us. So Kunti says that. Anyway, in the, in the present, it says you one has to remember Lord Hari when there is a big distress. That means he has to definitely do so. Even otherwise he is to be very worshipped. Always he has to that is why later we are going to come across a statement which says, Yen muhurtam kshanam vapi vasudevo na chintyate saha nihitan mahat dukkham sabhranti sacha vitriya. Even for one moment, if a person does not think about the Lord, in Muhurtam Kshanam Vapi Vasudevaha Nachintyate Sahani. So, not thinking of the Lord even for one moment is a great distress for us. Sahani, Tan Mahadukham, that is the great misery. Sabhranti, that is when we are under illusion. And that is when Sajavikriya, 
we happen to be having a distorted view of things. So always one should think about the Lord. That is the ideal situation actually, but that is not so easy. And we have several stories of Narada, etc. Uh, I think you might know that anecdote. I'll, uh, if you want me to mention it, I'll mention it. Otherwise, we'll proceed. <coughs> Therefore, it is mentioned here that <coughs> the name Govinda itself, and here he, Manavada Babi mentions one very important thing. He says, Govinda is the word that denotes Lord Krishna as far as Krishna Avatara is concerned. And there she called Govinda Govinda, but Govinda is Govinda, the word Govinda denotes something that is partially denoted by the Lord Narayan, the word Narayana. That means <coughs> Lord, the word Narayana has a huge connotation, of which only one part is denoted by the word Govinda. Because Gaha Vindate Eti Govinda. So Gaha means the cows. <coughs> and cows are, and cows means what? The word Go, go means cow. Cow means not only the cows having four legs, but also cows having two legs. That is, we are called as Dipat Pashavaha and they are called as Chatushpat Pashavaha in the Vedic parlance. So Pashu means a person who has not realized himself. That is why in Sanskrit we say Vidya Vijinaha Pashu, etc. There are several statements. So in, there is a Subhashta which says Ahara Nidra Bhaya Maithunani Samanyanetat Pashubhir Narana Jnanam hitesha vajiko vishesha jnane nahina pashubhis samara. A very beautiful statement. So, ahara nidra bhaya maithuman. Food, sleep, fear, and reproduction. These four are common for animals and human beings. Samanyam etat pashubhir narana. Then, how does a human being excel than animals? Jnanam hitesha majiko vishesha. Human beings have a unique quality or attribute called jnana or knowledge. They are supposed to have. And if a person does not possess it, if a does not, person does not have that realization, then jnane nahinaha pashubhis samana. He is equal to animals, cows. Buffaloes, etc. So, Gaha Vindate Eti Govinda. Why is he called Govinda? Because he actually protects the cows having two legs, that is, all, all humans like us, as well as four legged animals. Of course, he was very close to, he very fond of cows that we all know as far as Krishna Uttara is concerned. So, not only he was fond of cows, that is why he is known as Govinda. But from the tattva point of view, what we call as the tattva artha or the hidden meaning. Hidden meaning is he is the protector and ultimately the consumator of all animals, including human beings who are called as dvipat pashava. That is why in the Vedas it says, Chatushpada, Mutachat, Dvipada. When, when it refers to Pashus, it says four legged animals and two legged animals. That is the human beings. You can say unrealized human beings. And coming to the story of Narada, so there is a beautiful, I think it comes in Srimad Bhagavatam only, where there is a debate Narada has along with the Lord Krishna. And he says, I am the only person who thinks about you incessantly without any guy. Then there is a, it's a beautiful uh, uh, 
story which has several episodes. So then both of them actually uh, come to earth, come to the earth, and then they, uh, they come across a farmer who worships the Lord five times a day. So early in the morning, then after having breakfast, then after coming back from his uh, farm, then once again in the afternoon, then once again in the, in the evening, and then once again in the night. Then the Lord says, see how great a devotee he is. Then Narada says, he worships you five times a day or six times a day. I worship you all along the day. Then it seems that Krishna gave him a vessel that was full of oil that is filled to the brim. And he asked Narada to actually take a, what is known as Parikrama or circumambulate a particular mountain, which was about two, two or three kilometers. So then Narada, he had to follow the instructions of his Lord. And he had to carry the vessel having the oil which was filled to the brim. So he was so much concentrating, he went around and he came back. And then handed over. See Krishna, I have done what they have asked me to do. I have not spilt even one drop from my vessel. So I have carried out your orders. Now tell me what next. Then Krishna said, how many times did you remember me while we are doing this? Then Narada confessed, not even once. Why? Ah, how can I do? I was concentrating fully on carrying the oil vessel which was filled to the brim so that not even one drop falls or is spilled out, spills out. Then he said, this is what the farmer is also doing. How can he concentrate on me when he is engaged in his profession or vocation rather? So that is how the story goes, very beautiful story and I am sure you have heard about it. So, but even then what happens? There comes a stage when, even when you are engaged in other activities, inside, involuntarily, your mind keep chant, keeps chanting mantras or keeps chanting and thinking about the Lord or things like that. That is at a very higher level. But if you make, it is like actually driving a car. So in the beginning what happens is me in India, where the traffic is so chaotic, what do you do? So suppose you have to tell, now there is a vehicle coming in the opposite direction. So lift your foot from the accelerator. Then you <coughs> put your foot on the brake pedal. Then once again, if you have to change the gear, you press the clutch, the clutch pedal and then change the brake, <laughs> or change the gear. So if you are in fourth gear, come to third gear. If you are in third gear, come to second gear. Then once the vehicle passes and the road is free, then once again, you take your uh, leg off uh, from the brake pedal and press the accelerator. Then you have to shift to a higher gear, then press the clutch and do. <laughs> so <laughs> if you are actually writing it down, it will be just for this, it will take one page. <laughs> or if you are telling it, it will take three or four minutes. But when you are actually doing it, it will just take two or three seconds, or even not not that also. But when you are consciously doing it, what happens? It, it takes so much of time. So when a person who is learning driving, he learns, he drives three or four kilometers, he'll say, oh, I'm so tired, I have driven for three kilometers. But after learning driving well, you are uh, well experienced. Even 300 kilometers you can drive at a set, you don't feel the uh, fatigue. Because it is done involuntarily, everything is uh, programmed in your mind. So you are talking to somebody, you are eating, you are uh, thinking about something else. But uh, automatically everything happens, you go uh, mechanically, it is done. Or rather, involuntarily, it is done. So there comes a stage when you actually 
when your mind becomes so adept in uh, chanting or thinking about the Lord, that even if you are engaged in something else, something worldly, you actually are thinking in the heart of hearts, you are thinking about the Lord or doing chanting or whatever. Anyway, <clears throat> then, so this is what he says, the word Govinda, which does not cover all the aspects covered by the word Narayana, itself was sufficient for Draupadi to bring her out of distress. When that is so, what to say about the word Narayana? Because the word Narayana covers so many dimensions, but the word Govinda comparatively covers only a small portion of those aspects. So, how Vavatar at the Kivata Kamana go in the Vengira Tirinama Mire and Gay Nara and a Shabdar Tatil Yakadesh at the Kivata Kamana Vata Kamana Durutarinam Shay the Padikandal. He didn't propose taking Punarnia at Nyaya Sitta Mire and Rikariti. Kim Punarnia is a famous Nyaya, very simple and very. Uh, beautiful Nyaya. Kimpudan Nyaya means suppose <coughs> uh, suppose a person knows how to cook for thousand people. So cooking for cooking for hundred people be a challenge to him? No. Oh, it's like a child's play for him. So when he is able to cook for 1,000 people, why should we worry if, uh, when he has to cook for 100 people? He is well versed. Or suppose if a person can play at the, uh, play soccer or something, and they, or suppose he can play at the Wimbledon and become a, the champion of Wimbledon. Will he find playing the club level tennis difficult? It's like that. When the word Govinda itself can achieve so much, what should one say about uh, the word Narayana, which is much, much, much more effective and all-encompassing than the word Govinda, than the meanings denoted by the word Govinda. So that is known as Kimpunar Nyaya in this context. <clears throat> and then, Shallum Kramamoliyat Chunnaram Ansvarupam Kedanilladi one more very important aspect is Innum varu prakaratthale Innum varu prakaratthale Idin vai bhavatte erudicchai hirar Adavadin Edenu varu mantram tannai tanjama Vishwasitthi chunnavar halik kodiya Tam kariyam shayyade ahiram Idanga nannikke tannai tanjama ham Vishwasitta Shulluhaya Hirakrama Buriya Sanketyam Parihasyam Stopam Hedaname Vava Ingira Padiye Shulminam Shunnavar Halak Rakshakamahaya Hira and Swarupatil Naduvanilla Dengai Sanketyam Parihasyam Vastopam Hedaname Vava Vaikundanam Agrahanam Asheshaka Haram Viduhu Eta Vatara Matanir Mudheranaya Punsam Sankirtanam Bhagavato Gunakarmanam Nam Akrushya Putrava Bhagavan Yatajam Lopi Mara Yaneti Liamana Upaiti Muktim There is one more very important, very important aspect that is unique to this mantra. So many a times when mantras are to be chanted, they are to be chanted perfectly. In the sense, the diction, the pronunciation, etc. have to be very exact. You cannot change even a small accent. You cannot change Hraswa and Dirka. Or Pronounce the short vowel as a long vowel, long vowel as a short vowel. 
ಅಲ್ಪ ಪ್ರಾಣ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಾಣ ಆಸ್ಪಿರೇಷನ್ ಅನಾಸ್ಪಿರೇಷನ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ಸೊ ಎಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ಇನ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಕ್ರಿಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ವೆರಿ 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 ಪರ್ಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಯಥಾ ಇಂದ್ರ ಶತ್ರು ಸ್ವರತೋ ಪರಾಧ ಲುಪ್ತೋ ವರ್ಣ ಸ್ವರತೋ ವರ್ಣತೋ ವ ಮಿಥ್ಯಾ ಪ್ರಯುಕ್ತೋ ನತಬರ್ಥಮಾ ಸ ವಾಗ್ವಜ್ರೋ ಯಥ ಯಜಮಾನ ಹೀನಸ್ತಿ ಯಥೇಂದ್ರ ಶತ್ರು ಸ್ವರತೋ ಪರಾಧ ಇನ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಕ್ರಿಟ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಬಿ ವೆರಿ ಕೇರ್ಫುಲ್ ಇನ್ ಆಲ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಸಚ್ ಚೇಂಜಸ್ ಸಚ್ ಇಶ್ಯೂಸ್ ಈವನ್ ನೀವು ಚೇಂಜ್ ದಿ ಸ್ಪೆಲಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಲೈಟ್ಲಿ ದಿ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಚೇಂಜಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಇನ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಕ್ರಿಟ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಆಲ್ ದ ಮೋರ್ ಕಾನ್ಶಿಯಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಸಕೃತ್ ಶಕೃತ್ ಮಾಭೂತ್ ಫಲಂ ಫಲಂ ಮಾಭೂತ್ so suppose i say aham phalam bhunjan especially for vaishnavas i eat a fruit if instead of phalam where pa is aspirated you say the unaspirated phalam bhunjami phala means meat so how different it is from saying i eat a fruit and i eat meat similarly with regard to alpa prana and maha prana long oval and short oval rasva dirgha and also when you have, when you are talking about the vedas you have the three accents udatta anudatta and swarika so even a small change in the swara or accent makes a big difference as far as meaning is concerned and there is a story which is mentioned in mahabharata i am not going to that now so here as far as the mantras are coming other mantras are concerned if there is a mistake in chanting it will be detrimental to the chanter but as far as the maha ashtakshara maha mantra is concerned even if there is some mistake it will not matter it will actually give the necessary good effects only to the person who is chant so there is a beautiful shloka in sanskrit which is similar to what is being mentioned here later agyo vadati vishnaya pragnyo vadati vishnave phalam jaiva ubhayo astulyam bhavagrahi janardana very very beautiful statement so for those who know the basics of sanskrit so when we are actually declining the world drama which is we call it declensions and westerners call it as the paradigms akara antah pullinga rama shabda rama ramo rama he rama he ramo he rama ram ramo rama rama he ram rama he rama abhyam rama he rama he rama abhyam rama he if the nominal stem is ending in the alphabet a uh, in the dative case the form is ramaya so ramaya namaha krishnaya namaha govindaya namaha mukundaya namaha like this we chant so a person who does not know sanskrit properly he will say vishnaya namaha which is actually wrong it should be vishnave because vishnu is a word that means it is never who vishnu 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 ha vishnave vishnu bhyam vishnu but this shloka very beautifully says even if a person due to ignorance says vishnaya namaha just like ramaya namaha govindaya namaha mukundaya namaha it doesn't matter deep same fruit the same result will occur to the person who wrongly chants vishnaya namaha in the place of vishnave namaha because bhavagrahi janardanah the lord vishnu or janardana also as he is known he will actually see what is there in the mind of the person in the mind of the chanter rather than depending on the words that come out of his mouth so in 
the Tirupavai also there is a beautiful statement which is given by Ananda. It says, Karatila Rahitan Ting and Inainda Kanjan Vaitil Nerupen and Nedumad. So there are two considerations, two different considerations for the Lord. So when a person who comes to the Lord actually propitiates him without actually feeling so in the mind. I will give an example. So many a times we go to meet some person, some officer or somebody from whom we want some job to be done. Though we don't really respect him, we actually profess to respect him, we may actually praise him just to get our work done. Actually, it is not correct. But in India, we have to resort to all these things. And I am sure it might be so with regard to some cases in other countries also. Because when the persons who are at the, who are in the concerned positions do not do their duty, you have to coax them to do it. And when you have to coax them, what you have to do is, you may have to praise them to this case, even though you really don't feel like praising them or they are not fit to be praised also. So though, though in the heart of hearts you don't respect him, you profess to respect him and actually artificially you are telling you are such a wonderful person, <clears throat> you are so generous, etc. So when the Lord comes across a person who praises the Lord, not from the heart of his hearts, but only as what we call as lip sympathy. The Lord does not actually consider what he has in his heart. He will consider the words mentioned by the person and take it for failure, face value. But when a person censures the Lord, the Lord does not take the words of the person at face value, but he will see whether he really means what he is telling them. So that is what is mentioned by our Purvacharyas while commenting in the, while commenting Aditripa by Vyakya. So, Tarityana Hittan, Tarikilana Hittan, Ting Nina in the Kanjan, Kanjan Vaitil, Nerpinan in the Rekmati. So while punishing, the Lord sees or considers whether the person has, um, whether the person really hates the Lord or not. If he is just out of some frustration or something only, he is actually berating me or censuring me. Or does he really have hate for me in his heart or not? But when a person praises him, he does the opposite. He does not actually consider whether really he is in the heart of hearts he has devotion for me or not. But since he is praising me, I will give him whatever I have to give. So that is the greatness of the Lord. Whereas what we do is, when somebody praises us, we many a times, this is all the, not the exception, this is just the general thing that goes on. When we actually, when somebody censures us, immediately we are angry towards them. When somebody praises us, immediately we feel favorably inclined towards them. So this is the difference between the Lord and us. So that is why it says, Shollum krama bodhiyat chunnalum tansvarupam kedanilladi. So even if there is a slight difference or modification or even mistake in which the Ashtakshara Mahamantra is chanted, it doesn't matter. And that is explained further by Swami Manavana Mamani, <coughs> which, will, which we will actually <coughs> uh, discuss in the next session. Thank you very much. Swami, so I wanted to ask, so um, yeah, 
when we, is it better than, therefore, is it better to concentrate on Astakshara than to concentrate on the Lord? Should we? Ultimately, ultimately, very good question. Ultimately, the word and uh, the object denoted by it merge into each other when we actually go to the highest level. So, ultimately, it leads to the Lord, Lord Himself. <laughs> So normally when we chant a mantra, we'll, we'll chant a dhyana mantra before to, to put in our mind the, the actual form of the deity of the mantra. And we'll yes. do so many nyasas and things. But uh, in the case of Astakshara, it's, it's, it seems like it's not necessary. But previously you were telling us it is necessary. Astakshara Mahamala, actually as per the procedure, yeah, you have to do that also. To make it more... Uh, Effective. That's what any mantra it can be chanted otherwise uh, without Dankanyas, Karanyasa, and uh, Nirishi, Devata, Chandras, etc. mentioning about that. But actually, when it is done, it has, you know, when you do the Anganyasa and Karanyasa, actually, with, with the particular uh, syllables as it is done, as it is prescribed, it has, uh, it is more, it is found to be more effective. But for that, you have to reach a particular state for you to notice the effect, difference. As of now, we are very insensitive to these things. But it is better to do, follow that. But suppose you are unable to do and you get immersed in the Narayana Nama itself. Then no, no need to do. Already you have got the results, so you need not uh, follow the means that are prescribed. But you have to go to that level. So you're also mentioning about the Vanakrama, so that you should also know the know the mantra backwards, just like the Ganapatis, they know things no, backwards. No, no, I did not prescribe, uh, mention that it is prescribed. But even sometimes that, that, that is very important to preserve the pristine purity of the, uh, of the okay. mantra as it is being. Uh, the alphabets as it is, no new alphabet should be introduced or nothing should be left out. From that point of view, I mentioned. We, we, a couple of things, uh, especially with the Astakshara Mantra, uh, we read in the Ahobalamat Anikam that uh, the Ahobalamat Swami in the Anikam, he says that there is a Swaram with, with uh, Astakshara, has a particular Swaram. All the, all the mantras have Swaras, but once again, that is on, at a higher level. <laughs> But Gayatri Mantra so definitely Swara is there, but who, who does it according to that? <laughs> it should yeah. be done. Definitely. Of we're, see, we're, we're familiar with see, the no, Gayatri I'm, Swaram. Uh, yes, please go ahead. Sorry, we're familiar with the Gayatri Swaram. And even then, the Hobalamat Swami says that uh, there sh we should be chanting uh, Niyam instead of, instead of Vare Niyam. That is a very sensitive. <laughs> Big uh, issue of debate. <laughs> that is, it has so many issues. Let us not enter into that debate. Varenyam or Varenyam. So in Japa it should be Varenyam, otherwise it should be Varenyam, etc. <laughs> so there is a saying in uh, there is a saying in Canada, Sandhya and then Savira It means there are thousand versions of Sandhya. <laughs> so even in, in a single community. Many be, each person is taught, though the major, major aspects are the same, the minor aspects, so many differences of uh, differences in uh, practice have come. Even this... Uh, it, this it is like, uh, I will give a very modern example. So it is like, uh, how do you, we were, uh, we used to play a lot of cricket when we were in, of course, not any formal cricket coaching, etc. But each person will teach, uh, each coach will teach you a different way in which the bat has to be held. Though the basics are the same, there will be minor changes because that person will hold it in a particular way and he will chant it in, he will uh, advise his uh, disciples or student to do it in that. Whether it is teaching some musical instrument or something like that. So, once uh, the higher you go, it becomes more individual. Swami uh, Ramakrishna here. Yeah. Yes. Uh, 
Actually, this Ashtakshi Mahamandra many times yeah, what I observed is. Come here, camera. Uh, so, this Ashtakshi Mantra, uh, Om Namo Narayana, uh, many times I observed uh, while I sleep, I walk, while I walk, and while I in a washroom. <laughs> it goes in mind like continuous, I observed in uh, this thing. So, but very rarely I pronounce it uh, when I light uh, this thing, that time sometimes I let it. But 99% of the cases continuously goes the record uh, subconscious mind or backside. Uh, second, I don't do Ashta, uh, Gayatri Mantra. Uh, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Uh, I know the mantra, but uh, I not. I don't do it uh, uh, the same. So in my case, uh, will I get uh, Vishnu's Pada? Because I don't do start free uh, sorry gayatri mantra but i am just uh, i do continuously on the monarana sometimes uh, uh, dwai mantra this and, is sufficient uh, from your from your point of view it is sufficient and if it is involuntarily going on in your mind that is very good that is very good actually that is that is how it should be so in that also there are several levels so automatically it will lead you to where it has to lead you so, okay. if you are comfortable and happy with this, please continue with this. Gayatri Mantra, when you have, you are happy with this and this is good, continue with this. Don't worry about that. Okay, Swami. So, you were also mentioning the uh, this verse from uh, Sixth Canto of uh, Srimad Bhagavatam, Sankityam Parihasyam Ba. Yeah, that we will, we will discuss in the next uh, session. I see. Because okay. Some other uh, matters we were uh, mentioning about, I did not come to that. That will, uh, will uh, I will explain, and uh, we can discuss that in the next session. If that's okay with you. Okay, but at least at least this uh, Sankachakra Gadapani Dwarakani Lachuta mantra was is is uh, many times uh, chanted in Sanjivandanam also. Yeah, every day, every day, every day, in the Sanjivandanam it is chanted. Yes. In the end, uh, at the end of Sanjayanaram, all of us stand that praise a day. Swami, uh, I, uh, Sri Rangapriya Swami girl did Baranyasam for me. And uh, he suggested, Ni Sriman Narayana Charno Sharnam Prapadhi Adhya Ni Appon Javichinda Iruma and so on. So that's what's coming into my mind always. So just wanted to tell you why I was not. Why, why, why Swami didn't talk about Ashtakshara Mantra? So even uh, Ramanjacharya was uh, instructed to say Dvaya Marthanu Sandhani and so on. Not Ashtakshara Marthanu Sandhani and so on. So it is Ashtakshara Mahamantra, the ex expansion of Ashtakshara Mahamantra is Dvaya Mantra. I think it's important. It's also, I, I read somewhere, it's also called a Mantra Ratna. Yes, that is okay. why. Even Manavana Mamani used to chant it, Mantra Ratna Anusandhana Santatas Purita Adharam. Nothing wrong and there is not much of a difference between these two. It's become a, it has become a subconscious thing, <laughs> Mantra Mamani. Right, right, nothing wrong in that. So there is, both have Narayana as, the, as their components. So nothing wrong and all the, all the more it's well, well done. It, it seems like uh, it seems like that uh, Jirpadi Tiruvarad and Akrama by uh, Manavala Mahamuni seems to emphasize Dwaya Mantram more than uh, than Astakshara, isn't it? Yes, because uh, the the word Prapati is specifically mentioned there. Narayana it is inherent, whereas it is specifically mentioned there. Prapadya is there, which means Prapati. So, yes. <laughs> That is a, so it's like a choosing between Rama and Krishna. <laughs> yeah, it depends on your taste. So for a person who has a certain set of, set of values, Rama is more appealing to him. For somebody, Krishna is more appealing. It doesn't matter. Ultimately, they are only the same. Of course, unless uh, you are not uh, uh, too much enamored by this Khan philosophy. <laughs> So one and the same, so nothing wrong in that. 
or even uh, Trivikrama Avatara will also, worshipping the Trivikrama Avatara will also lead you to the same destination. Nothing wrong with that. But sometimes we see that uh, the Tiruvaradhanam is, Tiruvaradhanam is taught using only Astakshara or only Dvaya Mantra. Even if we are worshipping a Vigraha of Narasimha or Hayagriva, still some people they are using only Astakshara or only Dvaya Mantra. Yes, because ultimately there are forms of Lord Narayana only. And uh, this, these two mantras are Vyapaka mantras and they have more, most uh, potency. So uh, whenever, whichever uh, Murti or whichever icon you are worshipping, ultimately with yeah, so Shadvaram Mantra Ratnena Abhimantriya, Shadvaram Mantra Radena Abhimantriya, etc. So in Dhruvaranakram we, we have that. So ultimately, see, iconic worship is one way of worshipping. Mantra Murteha Devata, Devatas themselves are of the form, they are the, uh, I, uh, mantras themselves are the icon of the deity, that is also mentioned. So these are all different uh, techniques, ultimately, even if one succeeds, even without iconic worship, if you do mantra, 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 japa, it may, you may succeed. Or uh, both of them can together help you succeed. Or uh, with the help of this, that may help you succeed. So it's all multi pronged Even if one, one is fruitful, it is enough. You are done. Your job is achieved. So just as Ramakrishna was uh, speaking about Manasika Japa, uh, yes. some, Manasika Japa is also a different type of Japa. And yes. uh, if one, uh, there might be yes, somebody might be doing it. If it's happens, that's a big achievement. Yes. In terms of spiritual progress, it's a big achievement, surely. Swami, one more uh, question. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm interrupting. Okay. Uh, it's okay. Yes, Can I ask? Yeah. See, my father, yeah, mother, yeah. and uh, my, my, my father, my ancestors all. Uh, used to do that uh, with Murti, Abhishekam, Tirumanjanam, uh, with Saligram, all that. Uh, somehow, whether it is not uh, gone or I could not do something, but I don't do any of those things. Uh, actually, I, I pray in the morning, I, speak, I can visualize uh, the Lord speak. Because one time I did my with my own hands Abhishekam to the Mulavirat in the temple. So that is the only thing I, I can... Uh, link like and sometimes i i could not touch the feet that happens and surprisingly what happens is when i am in most difficult time that time i don't get uh, his feet normal time whenever i am happy this mantra goes and this thing people say reverse way people say like uh, when you are uh, people are in difficult time then uh, they go to god so i am able to connect normal time and happiest time all that but I feel very difficult, like when I'm in difficulty that time, I don't, I don't, I won't be able to visualize Lord feet and I won't be able to keep my head on that. And that becomes very difficult for me. No, that, that will happen gradually. You have to, uh, you have to progress spiritually and then it will happen. I would like to very simply answer that question. Oh. Uh, But this is the Varaha, Varaha Charama Sloka says we, when we are in the most difficulty, when we are dying, then uh, he will remember us. If you have done earlier. If you have done earlier. Yes. Mm. Yes, you are absolutely right. And I think we have already discussed about it. So, I'm going to ask, um, since... Uh, we have one, one time for one, one last question. Uh, sorry, can I ask that um, since Om Namo Narayanaya is Mantra Raja and it, it obviously includes Sri Devi also within Om. So for those who do um, Bhagavad Radhanam at home, which is much simplified to temple, um, like I've seen most Prayogas, they, it's mainly for Shalagram Shilas. But say you have Murtis of Lakshmi Narayana or Radha Krishna or, or Gora Krishna like that. Can you just simply om, use Om Namo Narayana for worshipping even Sri Devi together with Narayana and the Mantra Raja will cover everything? Would surely, you say? Surely, surely, surely. So if you worship Lord Narayana, Sri is always included. Ananya Bhaskarena Bhaskarena Prabhupada. 
so they they are always together <laughs> you even if you want to separate them you cannot separate you may not have a separate icon but they are always <clears throat> two two faces of the same coin so there is nothing wrong in that very nice thank you so we can continue the discussions uh, next week once again thank you very much अचेद्रमाजेत्यशा चतुरा चतुरक्षरी कामवस्था प्रपद्यंते जंतवोहंतमादृश पुण्यांभोज विकासा पापध्वाक्षिया चीमानाभूर्भूम राज दिवाक सुनीकृत विरिंचारिजरंकुश विभूत जपनाभोज सामश्रेण शाली